Houdini had a confrontation and a friendship with Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the author of Sherlock Holmes. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle said, my wife, Lady Doyle, can bring back your deceased mother. During the seance, Lady Doyle went into a trance. All of a sudden, her hand started writing, 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 supposedly communicating the message from Houdini's mother to Houdini. At the end, she showed Houdini the spirit writings. Houdini said, wait a second, my mother doesn't speak English, she only speaks German and Yiddish. Then Sir Arthur Conan Doyle said, no, spirits do exist. He showed Houdini a spirit photograph. Houdini says, you're showing me how fairies exist? I'll show you how Abraham Lincoln exists. I'll show you how other spirits exist. It was all camera trickery. During Houdini's show, he actually showed some of the spiritualism props. One of them is a plum metal hand, just like this. What would happen is during the seance, everyone would gather around the table. The medium would say, we're now gonna turn off the lights. When I do, everyone please hold on to the person's wrist next to you. The lights would go out, the spiritualist would take out of their pocket this metal hand that actually is pliable. It's so pliable that the grip actually makes you feel the spiritualist hand is holding on to you. Just when you think there is no free hand of that medium, the medium goes underneath the table and is able to take a trumpet that collapses, they uncollapse it and Houdini! The weirdest noises and sounds happen. Then my favorite item that Houdini would show during his expose is called the extension rod. This is actually Houdini's very own extension rod. What I mean by extension rod, it extends and extends and extends and extends and extends and goes over 15 feet. And when you think that the spiritualist hand cannot have any freedom to even hold a rod like this, that's when the spiritualist makes the ghost go bump in the night. And just when you think things are going bump in the night, just realize that it's just a handkerchief.